Good morning. Spot a lake right in front of us here. This is the little pull out you need to pull into if you want to stop and spot a lake. No trespassing, so you can only see it from this point of view. But this video is not about spot a lake. This is a video about how to get to Mount Kobo. Mount Kobo is right there. You can see the summit, the biggest part on that hill there. We're going to the top of that. I'll show you some of the viewpoints we can get from up there. But we'll show you how to get there. So from Spotted Lake, Spotted Lake is on Highway 3, just west of uh, Los Soyuz. So we are headed westbound on Highway 3, away from Los Soyuz, away from Spotted Lake. Going towards Caramias. Going towards Caramias. Climbing uh, Richter Pass. And uh, this road is a gravel dirt road. It can get pretty rough at some sections. Um, any car can make it up here. A little smart car or a little mini car. Uh, Ford Mustang. We've, we've brought a Ford Mustang up here before. Any car can do it. You just have to take your time. Um, from the turn off, which is coming off right here. Once you're at the top of the summit here and you see the lane, we're going to merge. Don't merge. Stay in this lane. Signal that you're gonna turn right. Watch out for some of the bumps. Up here is a plaque <laughs> for Spotted Lake. I don't know why it's over here, but there's a plaque for Spotted Lake over here. Point of interest. Spotted Lake is actually a little way down the road it is private property, it's native land, it's a sacred place for them, so don't trespass. And this is what the road looks like most of the way up. I'm going to drive it fairly quickly, but not fast enough to cut down a tire. Because I've run up here drifting every corner, and then you end up with flat tires. So expect a, quite a bit of washboard on the bottom here, 30 degrees Celsius here. It's It'll fun be to, a little cooler on top. Yeah, so it's fun to see how much cooler it is. We're driving 40 kilometers per hour. And you don't have to do much hiking at all. Um, this would be a uh, road you could go part way up and still enjoy a beautiful, beautiful viewpoints from this road. Um, even if you're disabled. Um, to get to the summit though, you have one kilometer of hiking. Yeah, there's some very steep sections, so you might need to take your time on some of those depending on your uh, fitness level. But the road itself, you get some spectacular viewpoints of the Okanagan Valley on the way up. Oops, but like, maybe you can see it. Yeah, you might be able to see Spotted Lake from here. There's a couple of viewpoints where you get a good shot, a viewpoint of Spotted Lake down below. Also beware, there are rattlesnakes in the area and bears in the area. Cougars. I've never seen a cougar up here, but they do live in this area. We've seen bears up here. Keep an eye on your mirrors as well, because some people will be flying up the hill. Uh, they have uh, stargazing parties up here as well, so keep in mind on that. If you're going to come up here in the evening or night, if, if there's a stargazing party, they don't appreciate you coming up there at night with your lights on. Up to 50 kilometers per hour. The road's nice and smooth here. We're doing 60 now. Milky yeah, and then Valley. you can go longer hikes at the top too, and you can see all of Smilkabee Valley as well. Oh, there's one big hiking loop and then the short little run up to the summit. So bring water, bring mosquito spray. If you're by yourself, make some noise. Just you know the regular woods safety stuff. If it gets windy, watch out for falling trees. It's a solid bump. Um, yeah, this is middle of September weather. I guess if you guys are watching this video after it became a national park, a lot of my directions on how to get up here don't make sense anymore, so keep that in mind. We're 
sight of you in my past. Just a little honk so they don't all of a sudden turn that way. On road, off road, thank you. road down there we came up on. 22 degrees? Yeah. So, dropped almost 10 degrees. I put on a long sleeve shirt. I brought a jacket. I brought a jacket just in case. Yeah, I my wardrobe, don't worry. Shoes. Yeah, think about that too. Dress warmer than you need to on the bottom. Pretty much at the top here. Hiking trail goes out to the left here. Uh, the road continues up this way. There's some towers and stuff up there it accesses. Um, hiking trail actually comes out over there if you follow a certain hiking trail. But we'll just park over here. And we'll go do the hike. All right, we're parked over here. Jess is already at the trailhead there. All right. Mount Kobo Lookout, 1.3 kilometers, and the Shikopaka Outlook Loop, 3 kilometers. Oh, looks like the cattle pond is completely dried out. Some cows must be getting water from somewhere else. It is a drought year, so I've never seen that pond empty before. And of course, you're short of breath up here because you're such a higher elevation than on the bottom. So you'll uh, get winded easier. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Always good. <laughs> All right. gnarly trees, remnants of an evil forest. Mount Kobo. Elevation, 1,873 meters. 
Someone built themselves a little rock fort. It's pretty cool. So, over there is Oliver, and then Okanagan Valley keeps going north. And then over here, we've got a Soyuz Lake and a Soyuz. And I don't know if you guys can see Spotted Lake right in here somewhere. And those mountains that way are all in the U.S. of A, looking south. Back to Smilkameen Valley. Now looking east at the Haunted Forest. Anyway, that's how you guys get to Mount Kobo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We always like coming up here at least once a year. I think I'm gonna go take a seat on the bench for a bit, relax, and then we'll head back down. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. You guys rock.